Hi, Cheryl here. I thought I'd show you in this video how I cut my custom mats for my watercolor art and my large prints. So I'm using a Logan multi uh, mat cutter number 301-1. It comes with the blades that you need and um, going to be matting this 12 by 12 inch print and I need a 15 by 15 inch mat. So I measured out my board to 15 by 15 and I'm going to cut the square out first. So I'm putting my mat board into my cutter underneath the cutter ruler and lining up my score lines with the edge of the cutter and I'm going to be using a straight mat cutting blade. So the Logan mat cutter, I think I said, comes with both blades that you need. It comes with a beveled guide and it comes with the mat cutter that I have in my hand. So all I'm going to do is line the lines up with the cutter and score that uh, mat board with the blade. I do it twice to make sure I get through completely and it simply just cuts away. <coughs> Excuse me. So now I have to do the cut the other way. I'll line my line up with the edge and cut it with the cutter. So I have my 15 by 15 inch cut mat. Um, the square is done and it's a black mat with a white core. So when I cut the beveled edge, you'll see a white reveal. So I have a 12 by 12 inch print and I have a 15 by 15 inch mat. I want to have a quarter inch um, extra on, on the uh, mat so that the print will not fall through the mat. So <clears throat> I took uh, 15 inches and subtracted 11 and a half inches from 15 inches. And then I split the difference to get one and three quarter inches for each side. So I'm marking one and three quarter inches. One and three quarter inches and I'm scoring the line so that's the area that's the spot where I want to cut so again I want my opening to be a half an inch smaller than my print I'm going to do the same thing one and three quarter inches on the, the next sides so I'll have a square opening that will be 11 and a half inch square rather than 12 inch square and that will give me my quarter inch let edge extra on the mat so that the print won't fall through it so I put my print on two of the lines and made sure that the other line shows that there's a half inch extra. Just to check, make sure I did it right before I cut it. So I'm putting my mat into the machine, um, well, into the cutter, the uh, edge, and lining up my line. And I have a beveled edge. Just I'm showing you that there's a mark on the cutter, and you want to line the mark on the cutter with your um, line that you made on the other side and you pull the cut push the blade down and pull the cutter to the next line there's a mark on the cutter and I do it twice to make sure that I cut through all the way and I only want to go to the line I do the same thing with the next side and I line up my 
little mark on my cutter blade holder, put it on the rail, I'll line up my line, pull it to the next line, and do it twice. That's so that I don't cut past the line. You want to have it nice clean corners. So line up my line on the tool, pull it to the next line. So now sometimes the corners might still be attached a little bit. I take my straight blade and I just ease the blade into the corner and it will release. So I have my mat cut now. I'm just putting my blade away so I don't get cut. They're very sharp. and my print fits perfectly. So line your print up or your artwork up where you want it to reveal in the mat. And I'm using artist tape that I got on Amazon and I'll put the links to the products that I'm using down below. I also bought my mat from um, Amazon this time. And they're, they're large sheets of mat board. So I can cut them any size I need. This print will be um, ready to go in a minute. All I have to do is sign it, number it, and it's good, good to sell. So I hope this helps some of you um, in custom framing, custom matting your art projects. And if you like this video, please like and subscribe. Appreciate your support. And there you have it.